Okay, so in this video clip, we're going to take a look at the trinomial model for pricing American options, European options. We're going to set it up in R, and we're taking the code from the F, op F options, R metrics uh, package. Um, okay, so uh, just to uh, jog a little bit, maybe um, our memories, the nature of the trinomial model is that we create a stock price tree where uh, in contrast to a binomial model, we have here three branches. And so the stock price either goes up, it goes, it repeats, or it goes down. And the magnitudes of the up and the D are uh, generated using the trinomial model, which was originally proposed by uh, Thiel and Boyle. And then uh, from that, we do backwards uh, recursion using the uh, risk neutral probabilities, P, U, P, D, P, M. Um, here we're going to, uh, in this um, Google Colab, uh, we're going to load in this uh, line, this command. It's, it's the magic cell and it allows us then to run the trinomial estimation. Um, and the Excel setup that we have here in terms of putting in these parameter values and then generating results, the manual tree basically allows us to compare the code, the VBA code we had here that generated this price this for the trinomial model against an actual manual calculation. Okay, so we'll take a look at that uh, spreadsheet in a moment. Now, importantly here, what we're going to do, the objective here of this uh, video clip is really demonstrate, first of all, that the code, uh, the R code from F options uh, seems to work. It's correct. Um, and for a set of values that we put in here, we get this output. So if we run the R code here and come down, you can see we get these values. So we, we manage for the American call with a stock price of 100, an exercise of 100, a time equal to three years, uh, for maturity risk-free rate equal to 3%, dividend for the cash to carry equal to negative 0.04%, uh, sigma, the annualized uh, standard deviation, or the annualized, the standard deviation of the annualized return is 20%, and for this nine-step tree, we get a value of 8788. And then the values of U, D, P, U, P, D, and P, M, uh, they actually tally with the results that we had obtained uh, before. So these values here correspond with what's the value of the option, the U, the D, the P, U, the P, D, the P, M. Now, I've gone through this spreadsheet before, and I will leave a link to the, that clip just to provide some uh, context, but we can see that the values here, U, D, P, U, P, D, P, M, are consistent with what we're getting from the R code. Uh, okay, so once we've established that, that this works, then could we use this code, R code, and introduce into the spreadsheet uh, the R code as a user-defined function? Okay, uh, we're going to do that now. Uh, basically, we'll copy the cell, we'll go into R Studio. we'll create a new R script file, we'll paste in our code, we'll save it very importantly. So to be able to read this into an Excel file, uh, we will save this script into the BERT2 uh, folder, in documents and we'll save it in the functions folder there. So we'll just save it as trinomial. And we're going to use BERT again. Um, importantly, we don't need in this case, the percentage percentage R because it's no longer in the collab. So we'll just save, right? So we'll just save that. But importantly, it, it's, it's worth noting that we're going to use uh, the BERT Excel add-in. And I'll leave a video clip there explaining, uh, that's already set up, explaining how the BERT command can be installed 
and how it actually works, right? So in this instance, <clears throat> we have saved in our studio, right? They will we filed, we saved, and the script has gone into the BERT2 folder that's created by the BERT add-in for Excel in the documents and in the functions. We've saved that. And we've executed the function. So importantly, we've executed the function. So we'll just file, save. Okay, now let's go into our original uh, Excel spreadsheet where we had actually run the estimation. We had loaded in these parameter values, right? These are broadly the temple parameters that I've been using for the American call option and using code from Espen Hoag's textbook. Um, I estimated the trinomial tree using VBA and I obtained 878.8, okay? And I also had set up a manual tree based on that the stock price goes up by U, we multiply by U to go up. We multiply by M equal to one uh, for the branch going uh, straight ahead and then going down, we multiply by D, right? Okay. Um, okay, and the relevance then at PU, PD and PM, these were the probabilities we used for the backward recursion. Right, and that was for the manual tree that we had set up down here. Now, again, I'll leave a video clip explaining uh, how the spreadsheet was set up. Uh, what I want to do here is basically make use of the R function for the trinomial. So if we, using the BERT add-in, and remember we have, uh, I've loaded in, if we look in our add-ins here, we have the BERT console set up and I'll, I'll also leave a link to the video clip explaining how I set that up in Excel. But just very basically, to run our code here and to pull in the R used to define function, we go R dot, and then the name of our function was trinomial. We have it here. And then we can go up to FX. Uh, and we load it in. It's an American. It's a call or a put. It's a call. The value of the underlying stock or asset was, was, was 100. The value of the exercise, 100. The maturity of the contract was three. The risk rate was equal to um, 3%. The cost of carry, negative four. The volatility was equal to 0, 0,2. And the number of steps is nine. And when we hit our enter here or OK, we get a series, it's not just a single output, we actually get the value of the option, the American call. But in addition, we also get the value, you can see here we got U, we got the value for D, we got the value for PU, PD, and PM, right? So uh, if we change then uh, to, a, to, let's say, a put for a moment, see what results we get. P, uh, you can see these values updated as well. Well, U and D are the same, uh, but the PM, P, P, U, P, D, P, M, um, let's see, change to 110. Okay, uh, we get different and change to uh, a call. Okay, and the results tally. Right, we can see here that the results tally for the, the call option. And PU, uh, U, and so on. Um, we have um, uh, the results uh, are obtained here and are consistent with what we had before. Okay, let's uh, leave it there. And uh, any links, then I will include the collab and so on uh, below uh, the video clip.